Look over my shoulder and watch as I create a 30 second nature observation for nature's wild things. See my workflow process for transforming raw video footage into something ready for publishing. Let's take a look at what we've got here for raw footage today. This is a wasp attacking and paralyzing a grasshopper and then proceeding to carry it away. Up until this point in my photography career, I was a still photographer and I was getting more and more annoyed at the idea that with a single photograph I just couldn't capture the action. I just couldn't tell the story I wanted to tell about the action going on, the struggle, the fight with a single photograph. So this is one of the times I decided instead of hitting the shutter button to hit the video record button. I was standing over these guys and I was hand holding the camera and I kinda like the the way it came out. There's a little camera movement there and shake and could be recropped a little bit but uh, I like the action and the story of what's going on here. So let's take this clip and put it in our timeline Final Cut Pro X on a Mac and let's uh, try to turn this into something here. Uh, don't have much of a raw clip to, to work with. I think I have 12 seconds of video here. It starts right off with the wasp having already pounced on the grasshopper and proceeding to sting it in the neck, paralyzing the grasshopper so he could carry it away. And then there's a little bit of nothing at the end, so we need to take off some of the Right about there. So now we're left with uh, oh, just a little over 10 seconds of video. And we want to make this a 30 second video. So let's just select our video here and customize it for duration up to uh, 30 seconds here. All right. Now let's display it on our timeline so we have about 35 percent speed here let's uh, play that once through just to get a sense if that's slowing it down enough to see the action I believe that's gonna be about perfect in real time the, the mind just can't absorb what's going on sometimes when it goes by too fast. And by being able to slow it down here, we can really see the action. We can even see him flying away with a grasshopper in his, in his grasp, and he hits a branch to the left there and kind of bounces off and flies in an almost opposite direction as he's taking off at the very end there. Right there he hits that branch and flies in a different direction. All right, now let's select this and uh, let's put it through uh, what's called an image stabilization process here. And uh, 
with that process, we can look at what's what's happening here where it's actually re-rendering the, the video clip and it's actually going to take out some of the uh, up and down camera motion. It may even end up cropping this a little and we'll take a look uh, at the finished results here in a second. All right, so it's done that process. Let's just take a look at the video again and see if it looks like it's stabilized it at all. And the idea is we want to hold and focus on that uh, bee in the grasshopper and we don't want to see it shaking around as much. And I think it's done a fairly decent job at, at doing that. And we're going to pick up the grasshopper and fly off. All right. So we've stabilized it a little bit. But looking at the photo, we could, we could really use some uh, cropping here to highlight a little better the action happening in the middle of the screen to cut out the the leaf in the foreground here at the bottom of the screen kind of almost like it's in the way and he kind of goes up right about there so get a sense for what we're working with here go into crop mode and for this I'm going to try a Ken Burns effect and in this case I'm going to start the Ken Burns effect. So this entire clip of 30 seconds is selected and what we want to do is we want to start the clip off zoomed in a little bit, cropped. Most of this leaf is gone down here. We can get a better view of the stinging action and then we want to end the entire clip. Let's scrub down there. He's going to take off and fly and go in this direction. So losing some of the uh, corners here is not going to be a problem, but we want to keep the action in shot. So we don't want to crop it too much here. And let's hit done. And let's look at what we've really got here. We'll scrub through quick. He's centered. He's, he's centered. He's in the action. The camera's changing its focus but he's staying on camera he hits the branch and flies off I think that's exactly what we want and we want to add our dissolve to black at the end here so let's take our cross dissolve and just stick it on there and off he goes he hits that let me just shorten that up just a little bit here. All right, let's see what we've got for a 30 second nature screencast.